my friends and welcome back to The Witcher 3. In yesterday's video, we finally, finally <laughs> caught up with Yennefer on Hindersfjall and have since started a new main quest called Nameless, where we need to go back to Freya's garden and look for this guy Craven, who might have some clues on him. Uh, and if he's miraculously alive, be able to tell us what happened to Siri? And I have relocated slightly because I think I found Yennefer finally. <laughs> so we got separated in the forest. She wandered off. See, there she is, right there. She went. In, she went her own way, which is which is fine. And look, she's stuck. Hi, Yennefer. Yes. Can you get unstuck, perhaps? Oh dear. Oh, there you go. I was just about to reload. No. How about now? Maybe you catch up? There you go. Hi, Yennefer. All right, back to where I left you off yesterday, which is over here. You know what? It's fine. We'll go our own way. She'll, she'll catch up, right? <laughs> So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. You know, you can catch up with me up here. It's okay. We can get there together. It's fine. <laughs> this game cracks me up. Okay, sacred tree, all right. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. You can't help me track him, so I don't see any reason for you to go down there. You're right. Besides, trudging through mud in these hills would be murder. <laughs> Yeah, I honestly expected you to object. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown, how to sell Cam Morin out from under you. <sighs> Go already. <laughs> Anything else to say? Well, what is it? Oh. What do you know about this garden? What do you know about this garden? Let me think. That it's dreadfully overgrown? Had its history in mind. They say Freya herself planted it. When the world was young, the goddess strode across Skelliger, sowing seeds among the rocks. But Erberos the snake bit a hole in her basket. All her seeds poured from it and landed here. Thus, this garden is bounteous while the rest of Skelliger is barren. You believe that? Is that a serious question? Of course not. Favorable microclimate for plant life. End of story. She's so jaded, our Yennefer. Poor thing. Transformed into a werewolf. It's a dog's life? To transform into a werewolf. It's a dog's life, huh? Well, there's not a youth out there who doesn't have a wolf in his belly. Then the curse confined him to this garden? Couldn't really cut his wolf loose. No question he was top dog here. Just wolfing things down, or not. Geralt, that's enough, hmm? Fine. <laughs> Still had a few good ones at the tip of my tongue. I'm sure you did. We'll say you won. Uh, um, I, okay. <laughs> I want to ask about this body, but, um, Let's just do it, actually. It was like dad jokes back and forth. Like, who had the worst dad joke, right? Anyway, I found a body, but it wasn't Craven's. I found a corpse. Not Craven's, though. Uh-huh. And you thought I'd find this interesting because... Because? No bite marks on it. Doesn't seem strange to you? Why would it? I thought that's how the curse worked. Morkvarg is ever hungry, yet cannot eat. Yeah, but what about the other wolves? Unless they refused to touch the food before the leader of the pack did. Well, 
Now you've solved that fascinating riddle, perhaps you can return to looking for Craven. Hmm? Huh. Okay. I guess All Yennefer right. would be in Going the garden with me while be careful. While looking for ways to do a Mork Varg. I feel like I'm still saying that wrong. Okay. So follow Craven's footsteps using your Witcher senses. I'm trying, but I don't actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, these were his footsteps. Okay. See, we did this yesterday or the day before, probably the day before. I think I know where it's sending me, right? Yeah, all the blood, all the steps. He was running. And then it brought me to this door, which is the door that I accidentally, well, I didn't accidentally open, I purposely opened it. I originally thought it might've been this one, but no, a different key is required. Because of course. So explore the further parts of the herbarium, herbarium. Um, what? Prints lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. Was I in here yesterday? I was, because this is, oh, I came in the, I came in over this way both times and I never, okay, it's fine. We, we discovered it eventually, it's okay. I just would have had to reload anyway. Well, down the well we go. Roots, so I'm right over here. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Okay, let's get out our torch. Craven's blood. Oh, no. Oh, he's very dead. Damn. Dead. Has been for a while. Yen, found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing you have a plan. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. <laughs> we'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Ugh, putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Shut Anyone up. can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Um... Yeah, black magic is no joke, Jennifer. Black magic's no joke. Casting those spells never ends well. Never. I don't like it any more than you do, believe me. But the thought that Siri is in danger? I like that even less. I understand. Still doesn't give us the right to... Geralt, please. This is not the time to debate ethics. Fine. Do you need any ingredients for the spell? Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. <sighs> Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. Mm -hmm. Geralt, you're getting on my nerves. I offer you solutions, you try to poke holes in them. <sighs> yeah, I'm just thinking about the consequences. I'm not poking holes. Just thinking about the consequences. How about you? Giving them any thought? No. Geralt, I'll say it again. We're short on time. Siri is short on time. Mm. Fine. 
You busy yourself pouting. I'll handle the rest. Selene, Selene, Dufresne! Selene, Selene, Davidar! Are you Craven of Lofferton? No, I... Well, that's horrifying. We're looking for Siri. Can we just skip to the, to the point? I think I'd rather just do that. We're looking for Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She's wise! She cursed me! I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No! Speak! Speak! She fell! Oh, almost! Siri, Zirel, can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where... where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But... how'd I... what? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. Well, was I out long? How long did I lie there? All day, near about. Twas morn when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. Too long. You needed the rest. Desperately. Been through a lot, eh? Got some nasty, fresh-looking scars. It's Hawk. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, what? You undressed me? Hmm. Uh, let's go with yeah a whole lot. I like that option better. Yes. I've been through a lot. I never thought women on the continent did any fighting. Sometimes they have no choice. Where's my companion? And where is he? My friend. Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? <laughs> no. He simply doesn't like others to see it. Help me up? Help... help me stand. I... I don't... I don't think you should... Let's talk. 
talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. <laughs> Come, we're off to the sauna. What? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. I, I feel fine now, though. Really, there's no need. I feel fine now. Hey, fine. You can't stand on your own two feet. And it's no surprise with your muscles frozen stiff. But don't you worry. Mom and I will take care of you. They're awful nice for people who aren't they normally like taking captives and that whole bit. It just seems very random. It'd be so nice to Siri, but maybe everybody's nice to Siri. But anyway, I, I have to get to Drowned Dead Rock. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drowned Dead Rock as fast as possible. Shan't force you to stay. But the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skial can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. Oh, poor Skial. That man in the mask. He's from afar, isn't he? Oh, yes. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. Oh, gosh. All these people are dead because of Siri, aren't they? Oh, my God. I mean, it's the wild hunt, but because she landed here, that's why. I know. But me arm hurts. Good. Means your muscles are working. And mind the string don't catch on your nose. Ah! I know! That was the guy when Geralt and Yennefer arrived at the village was talking about burying his family and he was the only one left alive. Oh gosh. I oh, don't know she's only got eyes for Rocker. Snorri's not dressed up for Yorin. It's her father he aims to impress. Riches be the first and only thing the man looks for in a son-in-law. Gosh, this is so sad. All right, in you go and get out of those rags. All of them. I should think so. Uh, I don't really want to see Siri naked. I'm just putting it out there. She's Geralt's kid, basically. Um, leave her clothes in the changing room. Where, where? I, oh, use. Undress. Wrap yourself in a towel. <laughs> and let's go to the sauna. Much better. Whoa. This way. Wrap yourself in a towel. Well, whatever makes you comfortable. It does. Finally. I was so worried, Jid. Ach, Mum, you always worry. Everything's fine, ain't it? Mm. Yes, it's fine. Good. That's good. But why have you got the towel, child? It'll just get wet. Mum, she's from the continent. She's shy. 
<laughs> I'm still cold. Let's go with that one. <laughs> I, I was worried about drafts. A, a lung infection's the last thing I need right now. <laughs> See, Astrid? Girls your age can be sensible after all. <laughs> sensible girls aren't tossed on shore by the waves. Here we are gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the coals. Say, back home, have you got saunas too? Um, I have no home? That sounds so depressing. I would like the option of, I don't know, but I don't want to be rude because they have been helpful. You know, I don't really have a home. I'm a traveler. Ah, oh, that's right. Where was your ship headed? Ship? We fished you out of the sea. We thought you were in a shipwreck. Yes, of course I was. Yes, my ship. We set sail from Novigrad. And what brings you to Skellige? I'm here looking for someone. Not your betrothed, I hope. Why? Yet it breaks Gyal's heart. <laughs> He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like you was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. <laughs> well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy Skull? She just met him. Uh, I mean, like, she just met him like two seconds ago. He seems nice. I, I, I don't know if... Siri prefers men or women, so let's just be neutral. Well, he seems nice. Oh, oh my. He's that bad? Leave it, Astrid. Who she likes is her affair, and it's not to you. Listen, it's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over and the air stinks of fish. <laughs> I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lofferton groans and bitches quite like you do. <laughs> Sit down and be quiet. Child, Sjald's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. Uh, sure? I suppose. Why not? Head through the door and you'll see the pier. Be careful, it's slippery. Thank you, once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey. This is awkward. Okay, we're gonna jump in the water to cool off. Ugh. Cold. Okay, we did that. Let's go drink a shot of Freya's firewater to warm up, because that sounds a lot better. Oh, sorry. Uh, I think we need to go get dressed now, Siri. Uh. It is kind of cool. Don't get me wrong. I just feel weird doing it with Siri. Let's be honest, I'd be weird to feel weird doing it with Geralt too. <laughs> nope. There we go. Let's get dressed and leave. There we go. Much better. Regards to your father. Thanks. Nope, still can't access inventory, journal, nothing. <sighs> the Calm Before the Storm. Perfect name for this quest. And am I right? The music fits so well with it. Ugh. Storms are coming. Gotta go to your mom. Tell her to take the wash down. You keep practicing. Aye. Right. If your fingers tire, grip the string with... No need. They won't tire. Oh gosh. When do you go? Next, new moon. I'd rather you stayed. You daft woman. What would I say to be mates? Maybe. Oh, yeah. But your wife's with child? 
What? No reaction? Come oh gosh, this is so awful. It's a fun. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? Hmm. No, just said you like me. I'm sorry, but I really don't have time right now. If we can be nice to the people who helped save you. No. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. <laughs> w what? But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... But... You know what? Let's ride. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. You're, no, we're, I don't... No, we're gonna go. I don't want to see where the first one goes. I, I'm very uncomfortable with that. So here's Geralt's kid. It's very awkward. Anyway, you're right. Let's go. You're right. I hope to come back here one day. We can finish our conversation then. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> I didn't intend it to. I'll take Njord. You can ride Grey back. She's old, but she'll make the... Run for your lives! You stay here! I'll go and... I can look after myself. Oh, no. was just like a, a mechanic. Well, crap. Let's try this again. All right. Well, here we go again. Let's try to be a little bit safer this time. Ah. sure how to access series special abilities that one of you mentioned. Yeah, I can dodge. And I can zip on the other side of them. And here come more. 
Get on the horse and flee towards the drowned rock. Okay. What? What was that? The wild hunt. Right, the rock. The world's end. No, not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. What about your family? You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go! Oh no. Watch out! Right, silly! Don't look back! But I'm looking back. Oh gosh. Faster! Faster! They're catching up! I'm coming. We're going faster. Of course, my horse's stamina has run out. Oh, crap. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Right? Seems like it. Nope. Not there yet. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica, for staying the obvious. Pull up! What? Dude. So much for being Mr. Helpful Elf. Oh gosh. Although she probably wanted to stay and help the people, and he was like, no, we're not doing that. Right? Creature, where is he? <laughs> what? I saw him and stood on, but he sold him to whom? No, no. Be gone. You to tell them. Clear my name. Be gone, I say. happened to the garden what what happened to the garden it died like I said the spell it requires a great deal of energy you knew it would end like this didn't you didn't consider it worth mentioning no I knew you'd protest your sense of decency is charming but it does get in the way sometimes but the garden's dead this is kind of their thing you could have shown a little sympathy. Could have shown some sympathy for the boy. He 
That was no boy, Geralt. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my magic. Didn't just speak. It howled in pain. I know it seemed real, but it was no longer human. Do you understand? Nice of you to be so concerned for the corpse. Much more than you were for me. Oh. How are you feeling? Yen, are you alright? I'm splendid. I'd feel even better if I hadn't had to remind you to ask that question. Sorry, I probably should have asked it first, but... All right, let's get out of here now. Yen, let's get out of here now. You needn't ask me twice. The garden! Our garden! How could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me. We've every right to be furious. Furious! And you, you will pay for this. I'm sorry. I, I, we did have a choice. We did. We weren't given one, but there was a choice there to be made, and it was made. So all I can do is say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that all? Will you say nothing else? Nothing that would help. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. Oh, dear. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Scal told us. Hmm. Well, we know that Ciri's not in Skellige, that's for sure. Didn't learn much, though... Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad, either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it, safe and sound. That I promise you. I hope so. I, I really hope so, because I don't want to go through this whole game if Siri dies. I'm really annoyed, actually. <laughs> I'm just saying it right now. Anyway, the ugly creature, it's linked to Siri somehow. Why does that creature ring a bell to me? I can't figure it out. Key to finding Siri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen, at a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardell. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble, can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. What did you want to say? But n yes, that, that, that clicked. I, the Bloody Baron. I remember this vaguely. It was a long time ago. It was last year. <laughs> anyway, what did you want to say? You were going to ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think, is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That, well, she's been transformed by some curse? Don't even want to think about it. Geralt, we must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. 
I mean, if it is Siri, then you know roughly where she is. You can go get her and then just fix it, like Jennifer said. That would be easy, which means it's probably not. So anyway, what now? Siri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Okay. I, I, I need to tend to something first, because I actually want to try to go talk to those priestesses again. Can we do this later? Sorry, need to take care of something. Well, if you must, you must. I shall wait for you in Larvik for a time. If you don't make it, we'll meet in Vizima. After all, we do owe the Emperor a report. Ciri's our concern, ours alone. Perhaps. But that is not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. Yeah, it is awfully loyal of her. Being awfully loyal to your patron. He's your patron as well, dear. Don't forget that, lest he remind you of it himself. I'm... Uh... Uh, I really don't want to report to him. But I want to see how it all plays out at the same time. If we gotta, we gotta. So be it. We'd never have known Siri had returned if not for Emma and his agents. We owe him this. See you, Yen. Take care of yourself. Wait. This matter in Larvik. It really is important to me. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tarry. Okay. I just want to go talk to some priestesses and then I'll fast travel down there. Achievement unlocked Necromancer. I don't know why I'm walking, but we're walking. Character entry updated Mysterious Elf, Yennefer of Vangerberg. Skiol, oh poor guy. Oh, that poor guy. New quest, The Last Wish. Ugly Baby. <laughs> Anything else, game? Mysterious Passenger. Okay. Ugly Baby is the main quest. The Last Wish, that's Yennefer. Hmm. Huh. Treasure hunts? Well, let me look for the completed quest that we just did. So, Nameless. While talking to the inhabitants of Larva, Geralt and Yennefer found out Ciri had been in the village right before the Wild Hunt had descended upon it. She had ridden off with a man named Craven, heading towards Drowned Dead Rock. Geralt and Yennefer decided to... They had to find this Craven. They, though both knew there was little chance he would still be alive when they did. The monster dwelling in Freya's garden did not take kindly to visitors. Geralt, an expert tracker, if there ever was one, had little trouble retracing Craven's footsteps, putting the lie to his insulting nickname. Craven had barely faced the monster in the garden and sad to say was mortally wounded as a result. He had bravely faced. I think that's what I said. Anyway, fleeing the, feeling the life seeping out of him, Craven found shelter in an underground chamber that is where he died and that is where Geralt found his body. This could have marked the end of the trail and most certainly would have, dear reader, if not for Yennefer's determination. I mean, that was messed up. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean to Yennefer or anything, but that was seriously messed up. Like, that whole, like, necromancy stuff. Anyway, the calm before the storm. This is when we were Siri, I believe. So Craven's reanimated corpse told Geralt and Yennefer about Siri's stay on Hindersfjall. She had made a dramatic entrance, popping out of thin air in a narrow escape from some unknown danger. Exhausted and wounded, she was carried by a mysterious companion who then entrusted her into Craven's care. He took her home, where his family tended to her with warmth and kindness. For the first time in a very long while, Siri had a moment to catch her breath and enjoy life's simple comforts. Sadly, she was not given long to savor these blissful moments the wild hunt had caught Ciri's scent dark clouds gathered in the sky puddles began to ice over and the ruthless wraiths rode toward the village Ciri knew she was in no shape to defeat her assailants craven or rather skial for that matter was the unfortunate lad's true name 
decided to help her, putting his own life and honor at risk. Siri raced off to Drowned Dead Rock, where she rejoined her masked companion. From what Skell could see, the two had gotten into some sort of quarrel, which the mysterious man ended by putting Siri to sleep with a spell. He then set her down in a boat and sailed off with her into the the thick fog blanketing the surrounding sea. Siri had thus escaped the wild hunt, hunt once again. Scale was less fortunate. The wraiths had wounded him and left him for dead, yet he had life in him still and fought his way back to consciousness. When his eyes opened, he saw he was lying on the beach near a boat, the very same vessel in which Siri and her companion had sailed away the night before. Now aboard but a single, highly unusual passenger, the ugliest man in the world. So it was the same boat that Siri and the mysterious elf went in. Hmm. I thought there were three quests that popped up. The Last Wish, Ugly Baby. Hmm. Tell the Baron Sergeant. I thought I said tell the Baron. I was like, no, no, the Baron is very, very much dead, I believe. Okay. Well, let's look at character updates. Nope. So Skial, Siri encountered plenty of liars, scoundrels, and villains along her path, but luckily happened on the same on some decent folk as well. Certainly worthy of being counted among the latter was Skial, a young warrior from Lofoten. Initially, he and his family tended to Siri's wounds, nursed her back to health, then he helped her flee the wild hunt. In doing so, he sacrificed the things Skelligers hold dearest, his honor. Accused of cowardice, he was forced to perform a heroic deed to clear his name. Sadly, he failed, mortally wounded by a beast in an abandoned garden. He suffered a slow, painful, and lonely death. And then Uma. The girls encountered a misshapen midget at the Bloody Baron's court. He didn't think much of it. Yet when he heard a similarly, similarly deformed being had washed up on Skellia's shores in the same boat in which Siri and her mysterious companion had sailed off shortly prior, he connected the two at once. It was clear this rough-hewn hunk of flesh was the key to finding Cirilla. So let's see. Anything on Cirilla that's new? Nope. And then we had Mysterious Elf. Geralt's investigation in Skellige unearthed evidence that the mysterious elven mage had protected Ciri from certain death at the hand of the Wild Hunt's warriors. Skell's words drew a new detail onto the emerging picture of the mage. After the Wild Hunt's attack, Skell had seen Ciri and a mysterious elf sail away from Skellige, their course set for the high seas. I totally dig his mask. It's very cool. And then... Yen, why am I having... U, V, W, X, Y. Let's do my alphabet. <laughs> All right. In order to obtain the information they needed, Yennefer did not hesitate to resort to necromancy and destroyed the goddess Freya's garden while doing so. If the proud sorceress felt any guilt as a result, as usual, she showed no sign of it. I don't know if she felt guilt. I, I don't. I mean, ugh. Something to think about. I mean, she's Siri's mom for all intents and purposes, right? Um, so you would do anything for your kid. Yeah, they're pissed at you. Pissed at Yennefer for sure. But anyway, in tomorrow's video, I do want to actually try and make my way over to Lofoten to see if I can find anyone to tell the truth about what happened to Skial. And from there, we will obviously go and uh, meet up with Yennefer. I'm, I'm assuming this is her personal quest maybe I don't know that's what I would assume but we'll see and and then we'll go from there so as always thank you so very much for watching please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Witcher 3 video